Hi there everybody, on today's video I have this uh, Mini Cooper 2004 and I'm going to be changing the oil and the oil filter and um, I'm also going to top up some uh, screen wash fluid and um, we'll have a look at how to replace the air filter as well um, so I'm just going to start by uh, topping up some screen wash now um, this the screen wash uh, bottle is uh, just hiding here by the uh, by the wing so I've got some uh, screen wash here already mixed uh, you can buy this fluid concentrated or um, ready mixed ready to pour in Try not to use other liquids like fair liquid or soap uh, because it uh, it becomes very um, jelly inside and then it blocks all the jets. Um, also, if you just put water in there, um, it will probably freeze during the winter. Okay, now uh, now we can have a look at uh, our air filter. That's going to be located in this box here. So I've got a Torx screw here. It's a T25. So if we undo these two Torx screws here, we can lift this cover up. And uh, get our filter out, ready to be changed. Um, this is the particular part number for this one. I'm still waiting for mine to come through. So ideally, so all you have to do is get your new one, fit it in there. Close the box and um, get your um, Torx screws in. If you look at the back of this box, it goes into like a hinge type of flap here it's got a little flap and the box has to go under that flap not sure if that's visible there or not but basically it's gotta go under under this plastic little flap and there's another one on the other side Okay, so while I wait for my filter to come, uh, we can move on to the oil and the oil filter. So I'm going to start by just pulling the dipstick here and just uh, opening the oil filler cap there. So now we can uh, go ahead and remove the oil filter and that uh, we can access from the back of the engine. So from this, that area there, if we just look down, you can just see the, uh, the, the uh, top end of the filter housing there. I've got that um, 
socket in there it's a uh, 36 mil okay it's a bit tight now um some oil may, may drip out of there so you can just uh, temporarily put your uh, oil pan underneath okay so I got my oil pan just in case So we'll put that to one side and then now we're gonna um, drain the oil. Okay, so looking at the cuff from underneath, um, we have that sump plug bolt just here, it's at 13 mil. oil pan underneath and remember if the engine's been running this oil could be very hot <laughs> okay uh, after leaving that um, draining for maybe five ten minutes um, we can refit our sun plug with new uh, copper washer in there And uh, that's pretty much it from, from this end. Um, I've noticed this car is got a minor oil leak from the from the sump gasket because um, there is some oil around this area here and all around, which is mainly coming from the it's just coming from the um, gasket of the sump. So maybe that will need to be tackled at some point. Um, and also, when you're taking your filter out, if you had some oil dripping, it will probably come to this side here. As you can see, there's a little bit there. Um, I've also cleaned that. I'm gonna clean it a little bit more. Um, it's best to clean it now, make sure uh, we know uh, why we have oil there otherwise we might think there's a, there's a leak 
uh, if we're doing some other work, <laughs> if we forget about it. Okay, now I'm um, just going to lower the car and uh, we can uh, put our new filter and top up some oil in it. Okay, so um, this is our uh, filter here. We just need to pull this out. Um, sometimes it's very stuck in there, so you have to pull a bit hard on this to get it out. You might struggle quite a bit, but um, I did. I struggled a bit um, to pull it out, but it came out in the end. There's also um, an O-ring just around here that you will need to remove. And uh, we will get those with our kit and we can um, replace that as well. Um, now I'm just waiting for my filter to arrive. So in the meantime, we can just have a quick look at um, how much oil goes into the car. So if we have, if I'm just going to get the manual. So I've got the manual here. And if we just go to the uh, technical... data and the filling capacities there. It says uh, engine oil with filter renewal. Um, so this is a petrol car and it's 4.5 liters for the Mini 1, Mini Cooper and Mini Cooper S. If you have uh, the diesel version it's gonna be 4.3. And then um, the oil type that you can use, the recommended oil is on page 94 94 so <coughs> the quality of the engine oil is a decisive factor so um what they show in here is the uh, BMW long life the alternative long life 98 uh, long life or ACEA A3 um, Usually that refers to um, 5W30 oil uh, We normally use uh, Castrol 5W30 um, So we're going to do that Now, okay, so I've got my oil filter now. That's the part number there. So that's the filter there. Just need to push that in there.
Right. I'm just going to apply a little bit of uh, grease along this o-ring and then we can just fit it um, obviously I would just um, get into the um, get into its relevant position and then uh, try to screw it by hand it can be a little bit fiddly you just need to push it in and uh, screw it with your hand but it's kind of uh, bouncing out a little bit that's because of the uh, the new filter um, but once you get it in there screw it as much as you can by hand and then that way you know it's going in the right way okay so on the top of that cap says uh, 25 newton meters um, and that isn't a lot of force so you can just um, once you tighten it with the um, the ratchet just give it a bit, bit of a pull and then that should be it really <laughs> 